Hey guys, I've been wanting to do a video talking about assembly lube and for small engine rebuilding. I got a lot of comments from my last rebuild video and other rebuild videos I have about uh, what I'm using to assemble all the parts with. You see I usually use this little squirt bottle here and I always just say STP. It's this real thick oil and you see here. A lot of people say, well what do you mean by STP? What's that stand for? Well, this is what I'm using. It's just STP oil treatment all it is. It's a super thick uh, oil additive all it is. And uh, this also, in case you're interested, contains the zinc additive, and uh, which is uh, good for certain types of engines and stuff. But it's really good stuff, but uh, something else you can use is uh, Lucas oil stabilizer. I don't have a container handy to show you. But I do use it at time to time, but I find it much easier just to put it in a, in a squirt bottle like this. And you see, it's it's really thick stuff, and that's another reason I use it. But I do like using STP for this because uh, uh, it's cheaper for one buying it by a little bottle like this compared to Lucas. But Lucas might actually be better, and you wouldn't need a squirt bottle thick because it comes with the the end one like a bottle of gear oil has so it'd be uh you could work right out of the bottle so it's got pros and cons with both and it's really up to you if you got a particular brand you like but uh you can also use uh motor oil as assembly lube but i'll show you what the problem is with uh, using motor oil see it's just going to run off but it does work if you smear it all over your surface like this. You know, that's, that's good enough to get by with. Just as long as there's something there, because when you put it in the engine, it's going to have oil on it anyway. So as long as there's just a, a thin film of oil on there, you know, you're not going to have no metal or metal contact. I just like the the thicker oil, like the STP, that way it just stays in place better. And, and you can't really use too much assembly lube when you're putting an engine together. But you don't want to take a chance of having any dry surfaces on the, any moving parts. A lot of people don't know, but when you got your rod bolted on here or your piston in the cylinder, you know, you think it's metal on metal contact all the time, but it's not because your oil provides a, a very thin microscopic layer that you can't even see. And it fills the, the surface in between the rod and the crankshaft here any other surface so as long as your engine has plenty of oil in it you never actually have a metal on metal contact because if you did your engine ain't going to last more than a few minutes that's why oil is so important in engines and especially assembly lube like this because if you don't use assembly lube your engine starting up dry until the oil circulates and by that time you could have done a score to bearing or a score to cylinder or anything so you always want something in there like I said uh, it, at the very minimum would be a motor oil but I like the thicker STP myself or Lucas either one you could also use motor honey or any of those other type of a thick uh, oil additives anything like that will work and of course if you if you rebuild uh, vehicle engines you could use actual assembly lube for that too it would work probably even probably your best choice but a lot of people don't have uh, access to that, and I'm sure it costs more. But this, uh, this for small engines, this does basically the same thing. But uh, like I said, I at least recommend motor oil at least. That way, if, uh, that way nothing to dry when it starts up. But I prefer STP or uh, Lucas. So when you hear me say STP, this is what I'm referring to. So, well guys, if you got any questions or comments about assembly loop for small engines, uh, feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.